In this video, I'm going to be describing how to back up footage from an EA series DVR or also an LTP series DVR. Uh, any of these DVRs uh, uses the same CMS software. So once you install that on your machine, you get an icon in your in your start menu over here called CMS. The default user password is one two three four five six, and I'm going to just be assuming here that you have the software installed and you have uh, your DVRs added here under the uh, system settings. So if you want to back up footage from uh, multiple cameras, the best way to do this would be to click on video search and then backup. Um, since I'm on a remote machine, I'm not going to be doing a local backup, I'm going to be doing a remote backup. And let's say I'm unsure of when the event happened, but I want to back up all my cameras uh, from the time that I think it was, let's just say we think it happened sometime around um, 8.15, so we'll start it at 8 p.m. And this was uh, on Saturday, the night of April 7th, so 8 p.m. And it's going to be ending on the same night. Let's just be on the safe side and go till 11 p.m. And I am going to select the channel. So I have different DVRs connected, um, but this is for the Westwood DVR. And channels that are connected to that machine are 1, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Hit OK, and you would need to select your backup path. Um, I'm just going to store it in my folder called W. If you want, you can also make a new folder, call it whatever you want, and then click on backup, and you'll see a progress indicator bar right here. Um, you can just wait for the uh, backup file to finish. Again, it is backing up over the internet, so if you're on an outside network, which I am, it will take longer. Um, if you're on an internal network, then the backup process should be fairly quick, depending on how large of a backup you have. Uh, I know on this particular machine we have a lot of information, a lot of motion information on camera number one and um, we are backing up three hours across multiple cameras so it will take a little bit longer here. So once this backup is finished you can just launch your folder and as you can see, there's already an ABI here, which is a Windows Media Compatible file. Um, you would just double click on that file, and it'll launch your media player, and you will start to see the playback for that file. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 877-DEAL-79, or visit our website at edigitaldeals.net. Thank you.